most of the time that I vape now, I do it through my glass piece, just because I can take a bigger hit all at once that doesn't burn, and in Utah law, you can't smoke it. Anyway, I jerry-rigged up a way that I could do that, because I can't afford one of the fancy tools, so... This is a finger off of a medical glove that is taped onto my cartridge. And then I pull it down over the drop down there. And when I suck, it creates enough suction that it's airtight and it lets me drop. Oh, thank God. Finally got the spasm in my leg to stop. I thought that would be kind of cool but it's construction is pretty poor so the drawers don't like opening finally the spasms have nope never mind the constant spasm clutch thing stopped the little ones have started anyway my legs will just go i can't do it on purpose i feel one building in my leg it's really weird it's like tingles crawling down it's like a shot of electricity through my body almost it starts in my foot or my leg and then it will like work its way. That was one. Yeah, every night for several years. Not several, I'd say it could be a few. Timelines don't make sense so much anymore. Ain't he cute? Lost almost all of my comfort items when I moved back to Utah and I jokingly teased a friend that I was going to steal her Build-A-Bear I cuddled it while I was at her apartment and she's like, uh-uh. I was like, oh yes, I'm going to steal him and take him home and cuddle him forever and she dragged me to the mall and built this guy. I have had him with me almost every night since. And I take one of the other guys when I go to the hospital. Just because I don't want my every night bear to get blood on it or something. So I've got a bear up there that's multicolored. It's like different colors of brown that I take. And usually only use if I have overnight. I think I'm finally getting sleepy. Well, I've been sleepy. But like, it's actually, you know? Kind of like that insomnia feeling where you are so exhausted that you can't sleep kind of it's like the closest explanation i can compare it to it's like when my body is able to fully relax enough that it allows me to sleep yeah i just sound like an idiot all the time right up right up right up right up Well, that was fun. So I've just been tossing and turning all night. More brain fog than normal. Oh, my whole body hurts. I can't get comfortable on my own damn bed. No idea why. Some days it's just fine, completely comfortable, I can sleep just fine. So no sleep, and I have an appointment in two hours. It's at noon and it's currently 9.42, so like 2 hours and 18 minutes, but I mean. So, I drove with my parents, and that's with Barney, and Silly Food Song, and Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. I used to love watching those movies when I was little, and they, my parents started uh, banning me from picking them. So, I need to try to sleep. I just want to sleep. I'm so tired. the type of exhausted awake where you can barely move. It doesn't help that I'm in extreme pain. Barely able to move to roll over. Every position is uncomfortable. Every position hurts. No pillow, fluffy pillow, uh, micro pillow, not micro, wow, um, 
memory foam and my legs hurt really bad my hips hurt and my back hurts my shoulders and my neck hurt all of the face just aches I've just been curled up in bed okay I'm gonna try to sleep bye so I still haven't really slept I'm so exhausted had waited for the doctor's appointment and waited forever for the appointment and then the appointment itself was pretty short not very comfortable in fact very very uncomfortable a little painful definitely not fun so I'll get those results in a few days maybe if they remember tomorrow I have to make sure that I have everything ready for surgery and then surgery Wednesday Probably be dead tired, no a lot of pain. I'm such a dork. <laughs> oh my god, the other day my mom took me to the coolest place. This place is awesome. Contain yourself. My face is squishy. I'm so tired. I still have to go to the pharmacy later though. Need my medication. Do you see this disaster? It looks decent from up front, but the tie's stuck in right now. I about to untangle it. It kind of sucks. Do you know how much I would give to be able to be an English teacher like I was going to school for and be able to function like a normal human being in the fetal position, basically? My stomach started to do nasty, crampy bullshit. So today, pain is high. Energy is very, very low. Ability to sleep is like nil. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I had slept the last several days straight through. I don't want to get up, but I have to go to the pharmacy.